Welcome to another edition of the Smoke Box for Be Real TV. I'm Be Real, aka Dr. Green Thumb, with my very special guest up in here, my man, the ghost, Styles P. Brother. In the motherfucking building. It's We've good, been man. waiting on you, Chief. I'm here. And he's here. I'm here. Yes, and we're joined by my man, Cali Blaze, King of Concentrates over there. What up, what up? And uh, my man, C Minus, DJ C Minus, legendary. What you know about that? And uh, we're blazing off on 10 mil funky field tips right here. And, uh, you know, we're going to set it off with some insane whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Welcome to the box, my friend. I got to commend you on a fucking terrific performance um, on uh, Versus. Oh, thank you. Y'all came with the Merc show Woo that day. That was a proper way to Merc the party and, and uh, to set it off and... A fucking hats off all y'all came with it yeah you know what i'm saying but y'all really but y'all really yeah. yeah came with it it was a great day and it was it was yeah it was a great day for him out of a lot of the verses that have happened that's probably one of the ones that's one of the most talked about because yeah. of the the competitive nature of it yeah, that's what made it great. And, and those are our brothers. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's what made it what made it real dope. And just to be able to show, you know, because um, a lot of places, like for me personally, like I always feel, you know, down south in Cali is definitely more unification when it comes to people working together. Yeah. But I feel like the, 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 the origin of New York is not like that. Like all mm -hmm. of the greats don't have songs together like that. Like no, you got, this, you got right. symphonies, but they, you don't have a KRS rock camp. You don't got a KRS yeah. school G. You don't. So they, I think our, our nature is to be just obsessively competitive. So right. I think that's frowned upon nowadays because of the set success of unity, which I understand. I get which that. Which is dope, but like I feel the success of that unity has took out the competitive yes, edge in hip hop and it's absolutely. like a lot of people are just competitive and I think anytime you get in a booth um, studio with anybody it's you, it could be a I, I'm never going in the studio hoping Chic or Kiss get a better verse than me no when it happens no. I love it and the people whoever loves them more is cool and it's fine but you always shoot it's, for MVP right always you right. always shoot for MVP right. and you always and you get in a booth you're supposed to be competitive I like the way you look at that because, you know, I used to call it, and I still do the head chop. You know what I'm saying? You're looking right. to chop the head, right? Uh, com you know, competitively in a friendly situation because you don't want to be the weak link on the verse ever. And I think the competitive nature, that's what makes the best songs. Definitely. Because, you know, you're like, no one's going to make the song whack because everybody's trying to elevate and like get to each other's level. And I think that is everything right there you know it's, it's just like you said you know i think some of that competitive nature has been taken out of the game by a lot of mm -hmm. you know new cats and shit like that but i love that aspect of it because you're right you know um a lot of those guys didn't get with the t each other they didn't do a lot of collabs the only collab you really saw that there was minimal but like really stop the, the stop the violence shit self-destruction yeah. mm -hmm. that was the only really time you saw like a group mm -hmm. group group <clears throat> thing but everybody was like you know hey besides the native tongue the native tongue the native, tongues, the native yeah. tongue definitely reflected they that definitely did and that. showed that but i just mean on a you know more of a like a competitive nature competitive of it. nature like i come yeah. to bust your fucking ass when it's yeah. fucking when this mic is on and that beat is on and you know i think that's kind of mm, i think that's what i think in in this the golden era that we come from because we are the golden era right, right. Um, I think that was the fucking key to it is that we all loved and respected each other's shit, but we all wanted to be right there with each other. So we were trying to make shit as good, if not better. And that, that elevates game right there. You know what I mean? And I think that's why you got such great albums that came out of that time. Definitely. And then into the, you know, into what we are now, there's still some good records out there and there's still some popping shit, no doubt. But like, Back then, there was so much of it, but it was all unique. It's crazy. And you like right now, not to be funny, like the great thing is that young people get to make so much money. Like, you know what I mean? Young, yeah. young people of color, black, brown, even poor white people, they get an opportunity to make, make this much money. But back then, you couldn't be on if you wasn't dope. 
Right. Yeah. Like you could be on, but you wouldn't be ringing. Like nobody would. They'd be, they'd be like, "Yeah, he on," but like, you right. Him. You're right. Like, there you right. You know what I mean? There was a certain time you had to be saying that shit, or it's like the dues, and, and, and you had to. to for. That's right. You had to pay the dues, and not only did you have to pay the dues, you had to have the. You had to have that thing. You had to have those bars. You had to have that factor where you can get in in the spot and really rock it, because right. you know. Exactly. There's a, there's plenty of motherfuckers that that got on that had maybe the bars and all that studio work, but when they got to the live arena, they couldn't really deliver that. It's no energy. energy, no energy, and you got to be well rounded and have all that shit. No and energy. the competitive nature at, at, at the origin of hip hop and its competitive nature from who wanted to do the best fucking uh throw ups on the fucking train and who you know the best moves on the floor as a as a fucking b-boy and the best you know mc and fucking shit or the best turntable you know like the best set whatever it was all based on you know who fucking can rock mm-hmm. it the best right at first so when you when you look at it man i think to me that's the those of us that do it in the 90 from the 90s up to now um, and even the early 2000s, we still have that that competitive yeah. nature because that's what we grew up to with it. You're supposed to be. Yeah. So oh, don't fucking go. To, or don't, don't, go to the, don't go to the lab. Yeah, don't do it. You don't do want to be competitive, fuck it. Don't go. Go do something else. Yeah. If you ain't trying to be competitive, don't even bother. Yeah, yeah don't even don't, don't go for it. Because, I mean, you'll clearly be the weak, weak, weak link in the yeah. fucking song or, you know, whatever it is. And... You know, and then even even then, it's not even like you have a bunch of people that are not weak. None of them are weak links. You have a bunch of good. I'm not, I'm not gonna say MCs because MCs are gonna automatically be fucking competitive, right? But you have a bunch of like really good rappers, right? So that's I say, true. Yes, you have a bunch of good rappers, right? On the same song, but they're being too friendly with each other. So they're right. not bringing out the best of each other. Yes. So it's like they're getting in there, you're laughing, you're smiling, you care about the Instagram post, the likes, the picture, and that shit is cool. Right. But it got to get to the, it's like to this. the nitty gritty. It's like yeah. this, right? When you got a situation like that, right? And someone clearly comes and says, okay, in their mind, you're like, okay, you're taking it easy. I'm gonna make you ramp up real quick. Boom, and you drop some shit that makes them think to themselves, you know what? Mm-hmm. I better go back and redo my shit. Because if they leave it out there, it exposes like the fact that you were just walking through the park and you didn't really give a fuck. You didn't give a fuck. You, know you know stepped in a room with somebody who did. Exactly. And you stepped in a room that <laughs> <and> someone totally <laughs> gives a fuck. Like, hey, man, my, my fucking bars stand on my bars. Yeah. I can't just be yeah, giving you no. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can't just be going through the motions. Mm. If you're trying to call yourself a, a, an MC and a and a rapper and all that shit. Yeah. You gotta be a craftsman. Craftsman. You see, there's this new generation, like, I'm not hating on it. You got some people with some talent, but my <sighs> biggest beef is that you don't need that certain skill set that you had to have back then. You had to have the voice and you had to have bars. Like yeah, you got definitely. now people, they're just put together. You know, they're just they're a they're a poster boy. They're marketable. And they sound and, like each and other. Exactly. And you got a good producer who could put some banging beats. Next thing you know, this kid's a star. And to me, this guy wouldn't have in, in you know, 15, 20 years ago, he wouldn't have made it through a battle, let alone on a fucking radio or, or getting anything. And you know these people yeah. today just like look they, they, again i ain't shitting on all new generation you got people always got talent but there's way lower of a bar to get in and these people are capitalizing and banking and i just feel like fuck man there's so many better mcs out there because to me mc and your lyrics is that that's hip-hop like yeah. that's what made it different you listen to older music yeah that shit rang it sound good but there you listen to a lot of music the lyrics didn't matter Hip hop, your lyrics is your fucking. That yeah, is everything. That's, that's what that makes shit. you who you are. That's what makes the ghost hey. fucking all of y'all fucking it's, Jada. Everyone, some of the best it's, ever. It's like this, right? Our our verses are like a fucking sword. Mm. Mm. They're that's either right. sharp, or kind of sharp, or they're dull. And it that's depends it. on you on how sharp that that's fucking it. sword is. That is pretty much it. And and guys like us, we keep active, so the the the, the mm. sword is always sharp. You 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 really have to. I think I think two things come down. There's people who really love their craft at the end of the day, and 
get a kick out of this shit. And I think, I think certain people, I think if nowadays is, I'm not going to say it's different because the exact same, but if hip hop has saved your life, I think you've got a little different. Yes. Feel for it. Yes. Like, you know what I'm saying? You have a different way of going about Absolutely. it. Like, you have even, a different respect. You for have it. a different yeah. respect. Like even with the even with the downs, like you know what I mean? Like that's a lot of us. Yeah, even with the downs, like I could always say, like, I I'm fucking lucky to be here, bro. Like, yeah. Yeah, like I I didn't you know, it's Yeah. Even getting known, I was facing a charge where I didn't think I would make it. And if I would have got charged with that, I would have never, you know, right. I would have been here late because she could just would have been here, but it wouldn't have yeah. been the same exact effect. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? So even the low sometimes, it's like, I'm fucking here. Like, you know what I'm saying? I could have been doing some totally other shit. So See, that's 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 a big fucking thing <laughs> that, that a lot of people, that, that no one ever says, right? About the positive as aspects of hip hop and how. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. Is that, it saved a lot of us from yeah. the streets, you know, because some of us were fucking connected to the streets in such a way that like, you know, a few more years and that the clutches of it fucking got you all the way in and you ain't leaving. You ain't leaving, you don't know what to do and you ain't coming back. Right. And and uh, fortunately, some of us gravitated to this music shit because we felt and realized we had a self-realization we're good at this we love this this is something we can do let's try to fuck with this and that saved a lot of our lives man those of us that came from those grimy ass places that there ain't too many opportunities for mm -hmm. but it's all about what you put into it obviously yeah. and a lot of us that come from that time it's it's like you have this mentality like you know, I think motherfuckers these days are real blase about it, but like, you know, you got this opportunity, you come from nothing. Like, I'm gonna hold on to this shit as long as I can because yeah. this is all the opportunity I got. And we made what yeah. we got now because mm -hmm. of that one opportunity and we were able to branch it out. You just keep branching it out. But motherfuckers these days, it's like, ah, whatever, there's other things yeah. out there and they don't really give a fuck the same way, I don't think. Nah, you know? I think, you know, that's technology too. Like, you know what I mean? It took a, it, it takes a lot. Like, <laughs> it took a lot for us to do and get where we had to get. Right. And nowadays, you don't really need to do as much. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's technology that makes it really, really short and fast. So with that being said, I think that leads. And then there's a lot of kids who did put in a lot of years, mm -hmm. like put a lot, a lot of work right. in. Yeah. And, you, you know, it. even young kids, like there's the kids hours you don't hear that, about. Yeah. The hours you don't hear about. Everybody thinks they even popped out of nowhere, but it really... It, it, take, it takes time it to takes put work. in that work and yep. I think to appreciate the craft and know how to respect it a certain Absolutely. way. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think the young folks get how to, you know, maneuver and, and fucking uh, tread the path through what's happening right now. Like they got it. They're fucking clicked in on what mm -hmm. works for them and shit yeah. like that. And uh, I think that's fucking great because like, you know, they don't got to go through half of the crap we had to go through not at all and i think that's that's some of the problem with some of the homies from our fucking time is that you know that it's, there's that little resentment like y'all got it too fucking easy but it's like we did supposed the, to but we right. did the work for the, the way yeah but we did the work man. for it to be easy for the ones yeah. behind us because realistically you know you know it has to change and you can't be mad at these motherfuckers reaping the benefits of what we had to change for them. No, you're supposed to be happy to right. reap the benefits right. because that means every every generation coming behind you is supposed to do better. Right. right. If they was doing the same or worse than us, then that means we did a horrible job. That's right. And it, and it's like it's sort of like the block. Like you know, I think I think one thing with coming from a certain neighborhood gives you a different aspect. Yeah. Like you can't be the OG on the block trying to run around with the with the babies yeah. Yeah. like you yeah. got to know your position you yeah. got to know when you hit og on stage big bro yeah you know somebody they look up to absolutely and, like you got to know that and respect that and, and and operate off that now you when you're in that position but you're trying to be them shit's fucked up and that's, that's what a lot of up, our, yeah. our peers do too that's, like you can't yes. you had your time and your fun like it's supposed to go like this i feel personally it was supposed to go Hobby, job, career, if you're lucky. Right. 
And if you if you lucky enough to have made it to the career point, you're golden. Because a lot of us don't get careers out of a lot this of us shit. Don't so you don't got careers, no time yeah. to be fucking hating on somebody who's new and hot when yeah. you got over seven years in the game. Right. Do over you. five years, do you. Let them go. That's right. And celebrate them like you got celebrated. Because like I know from, from our time when we came on, a lot of the OGs could have been totally like standoffish and like saying, you know what, fuck them. It's about us over yeah. here. What they're doing is blah, 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 you know, but they embraced us and they definitely, you know, they told people about us, like our, our generation of, of rappers and MCs and, and that represented hip hop. They didn't hold the, the torches mm -hmm. from us. No, they gladly passed it and celebrated us. Right. So, you know, and see, but it's crazy because the way we blew up is very competitive. So we don't want to let go. Mm. Right, because no, 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 like when it's like that boxer who's been champion for a long time. You want to stay the champ, but you want and you want to stay the champ you even when you're champ. fucking like at that age where motherfuckers are saying, "Hey, look, you've held this a long time. Let it go. You should maybe let it go before someone knocks you off." But you still want to keep going because you feel like, you know. And I think that's the thing about our our generation, our peers. You know, like we don't want to necessarily let it all the way go, so we look at some of these young bucks like yeah you ain't put the work you're part in. of it too though like yeah. they they just part of something newer you you right. laid the foundation so it's not letting yeah. it go there's room for everybody if hip hop isn't old enough yes. for it to not be room for nobody right it's still like that's right you know what i mean guess hip hop what? is not even really grandpa's because right? guess what motherfuckers every day at a young age are introduced to the beatles or led zeppelin or right. james brown or you know George Clinton or Rick James and shit like that you know this is music that transcends time so you know yeah hip hop is a very you know still a young genre yeah it's not even it's middle aged yet dude yeah <laughs> you know what I'm saying that's why it's, it's, what, not, even, it's not even grandpa status it's yet. not even grandpa status yet it's not even yeah. grandpa it's status not even yet. it's yeah, not the no. it's not crisis well, it's, it's hood grandpa status it's hood grandpa it's hood grandpa for sure it's, it's not crisis stage yeah, yet yeah, you know what I'm saying it's not middle aged crisis stuff. This is some power. What is this? This is what we're saying. Uh, I don't know. It was a mix. It was a mix. It was a mixed bag of insane bags. So like we had Zoology, we had Julia, we had OMG, we had Godfather, and we had Insane OG. Yeah. So yeah, that's the a plethora of good well, shit. Well, the plethora of they're all rolled up as singlets. I mean, you know, we all got what we got. It wasn't labeled on the tips. Usually, we'll put them on the tip so we know what we're saying. I don't know. I think you're trying to set me up, baby. <laughs> oh, you no. put me some extra fire. This is, I feel like fluid. No. Yeah, that's how it's This is, you know, this is the baptism. You it's know, like what I mean? beautiful. Mm, uh, you're right. part of a a, a circle. Of of certified smokers, yes sir. You know alumni from around the world, yes sir. And uh, you know we welcome you, bro. Hey, the yes, other one, the other thing I want to give you props for is all the work on like you know the the education of of health and the yeah. study on the self like that. You know yeah. like with the herbs and yeah. and all that shit, Pharmacy man. For life, juices for life. Yeah, that's yeah, man. fucking awesome. Got to do that. What 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 got you into that? Just being on the road, wanting to lose weight, wanting to feel better. Um, I had eczema, loose nasal drip, cyanitis. It was kind of like a, a few things at once. And then being on the road, I started noticing. Um, when I actually, when I started making money and moved out the hood, I started noticing the difference in supermarkets and right. the stuff in supermarkets what from was where available? I lived to where I where I used to live yeah. to where I lived. And then I started kind of just. Noticing on the road, it's a lot of fast foods. In the hood, it's a lot of fast foods. And I kind of noticed when you're in rich places on the road, yeah. you can eat something good. Right. So I just kind of put it in my head together. And um, when I would go back home, though, I would always, you know, there's always a, a, a spot of the hood where you can get some juices. I started going there. And it kind of changed my life. I lost weight. Um, my post nasal drip left. My cyanitis left. But most of all, my temper left. All that Not shit. left, but it eased up. Like, it eased up, Because I yeah. used to do stupid shit, and it's like, yo, I'm a professional rapper. I got a real job. Why do I keep it? My shit, ego yeah. and pride was just kind of running everything about me. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? So I had to kind of get that in check, and that helped that get, in, that get that in check. And once that happened, I was off to the races, and I just started feeling better and kind of noticed 
that in the hood we often behind the eight ball because we don't really even take a chemical imbalance in the place sometimes. Like, right, absolutely. Like sometimes if you eat too much bullshit, drinking too much bullshit, not sleeping enough, mm -hmm. not working out, all that, um, just bad energy around you. That shit, yeah, and, that shit can turn and, into something bad. Yeah, like you, so you know, you a lot of right. us, a lot of us be put putting ourselves through fucking, you know, sleep deprivation and dehydration and fucking. Uh, What's the other shit? Um, like a number of things because you know we're not mm -hmm. properly watching how we're fucking intaking the fuel and drinking enough yeah, water. Hurt it's hot. Yeah. Don't worry. Ooh, not we are hot, man. Yeah, it felt like the hot box. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you gotta. You know, In the winter time, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you got to pay attention <laughs> to all that shit that you're putting in your body and and all that shit. You know what I mean? Because realistically it's it's the fuel you're you're putting in and it's like anything right the the level the, depending on the fuel you're you're putting in is definitely you know, what's going to come out yeah how you i mean react, everything yeah. is energy everything in the world is energy including food like it's, it's basically you should have knowledge of definitely what's inside your body like if you think about it everybody knows i <clears throat> This hat is from here, this glass is from here, this jacket's from here, these pants from here, these kicks are from here. I'm gonna buy the best I could get with the money I got. You gotta do the same shit for your insides, just basically. Right, food. right. You gotta turn around and do the same shit. Like, when's the last time you said, yeah, you gotta be like, yo, there's no way you're not gonna wash your balls, ass, mouth, underarms, feet as much as possible. But you're not doing the same thing for the insides. Why? Right. You know, Steve Jobs said a, a great quote right before he died. He said, Treat your food as medicine or your food will become your medicine. And it's a fact, man. If you don't eat, watch what you eat, you're going to be eating pills to stay alive because you're fucking as fuck. That's a very good statement. I yeah, agree. So you, you juice a lot. Yes, I do. And that's what sort of took away all the the, the shit you were having that you were going Basically, through. I would say like a mom fog and just kind of, I had a cleaner system. Yeah. And that's that's the thing, man. It's about you can do it, and it's never yeah, too can. late. And, and it's never you too can. late I to mean, do that shit. Never. Yeah. People think you know they're at a point where it's impossible. Nothing's impossible. That shit is in your head. If you tell yourself it's impossible, it will be. Yeah. But if you tell yourself you can do that shit, you, you will. Gotta, do yeah. It. And you gotta, you gotta understand. You gotta leave yourself some room for failure, right. room to try, because it happens. Yeah, you can't, you can't be Superman at everything. No, you like, so you gotta leave yourself some room for failure, and some, in a, in a process to say I'm gonna take baby steps and get to where I gotta get, and just you know, make make my shit work for me. You better got an extra letter. Is that what you need? Mm -hmm. Got you right in. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, not everybody hits it, hits a home run on nah, on the first is a part of success. And that's that's the thing, you know. You got to learn to fail to, if you, to be if able you, to truly win. And if you don't, when you when you all the way win, and then you fail, it's going to be worse for you. Yeah, you need some failures on the way to kind of yes to warm yourself up in case you catch a big failure. To know you to don't want to, that yeah, shit again, you know? you know. But I I think it's it's fucking huge that that you came out and you spoke on all that shit, and uh, you got other heads fucking sparked on that. And, and like, you know, plugged in on taking care of themselves. Yeah. Because, I mean, you know, when you think about the platform we have and the songs that we put out and, and the way that we've influenced people there, you know that if you're still doing it and you're still tapped in and people are still listening to you, there's that, there's that fucking place where you can fucking still be educating people on shit that's good for them. Definitely. That's entertaining, can, but also informative. Yeah. Like, and I think people think you're not cool when you're on some healthy shit. That's no, not the case. You're you just, gotta trying, break to, that shit. just trying to fucking stay healthy. And and if you think about it, and this is where, this is why I say shits get crazy. Because if you're from the, if you're from a rough place, you know, the main, main thing they teach you is survival. You right. get somewhere you want to survive. What the fuck do you think eating clean and drinking juice and eating healthy, getting out, That's working fine. out is part? It's right. part of survival. And it's even like this. The homies know, homies who've been locked up know, like, when you, you start trying to make sure you're working out. You start to try to make sure you're reading. Yep. You start doing that. Do that shit on the street. Don't wait to get locked up. 
Yeah. That's right. Staying active. Like, just survive. Like, staying active. I'm so high, I forgot I could take off my hoodie. <laughs> there you go. Um, you ever get hot and forget to take something off? Yeah. Like, I'm dumb or, hot. Or put something on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. man. Um, I gotta get ready for the hot box. I gotta get ready for the smoke Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the smoke Olympics. Yeah, hey, yeah. listen. If people knew the the group chat, like that's the insanest group yeah, chat yeah. in the world. Imagine, <laughs> the <floor park> of, <laughs> and people don't people don't even know the conversation and the videos that we send each other on the you know <laughs> on, on on the just us tip. That shit is fucking hilarious. Um, but it's great to be like you know putting it together with all the brothers and and uh, you know like doing something this big i know you got hit up you were talking about they fucking hit you up in the hey, airport tmz that was crazy they hit you up about the smoke olympics my but that's that's the whole shit people are you know as funny as it seems people are interested in some shit like yeah, that you want to tap okay. in let's see what that's about oh, yeah because i know the hot box round is going to be crazy <laughs> oh yeah man for this i gotta go oh, make no, a hot man. box now yeah right. yeah and yeah, this is uh I'm used to win a hot box. This is like a, a California hot box. Um, oh yeah, if we win, steamy, it's no cold air coming Word up. Yeah, yeah they know New York. New York, yeah, New York, nice, cool nice cold brisk. Oh yeah, well, this is a hot <laughs> hot box. <laughs> it's very comfortable. I was yeah. just thinking it was yeah. a hot box. This is a hot hot box. It's yeah, like yeah. 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 this is It's very authentic. This is real. Oh man, this is more than real. Yeah, we train for this shit. Yeah, we do train for this. Um, this is insane. What the fuck is wrong with y'all to be doing this all the time? It happened. Look at him. He's just hey. he fucking ice yeah. cold. He got the most dangerous lungs in the world. <laughs> this guy's lungs is crazy. Wow. Hey, so um, are y'all are are y'all uh gonna get out on any tours this year? Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Got a lot of work to do. This yeah. Year. I mean, I know everybody's there. fucking. You know, have have been waiting for motherfuckers yeah. to be doing shit, and now I think I think when the so, shit comes in the fruition or the group chat, oh, yeah, we're gonna be oh, extra, oh my extra, god, extra, extra if, if the busy. shit that comes not to if, fruition, when. no, no, yes, when, when, when the if, shit when. comes to fr fruition, yeah, that we gonna, have been talking in that fucking that's group gonna be chat, nuts. oh, motherfuckers are gonna lose their, gonna be their goddamn minds, bro. That's gonna be nuts. It's, it's, it's the craziest group oh, chat ever. Yeah, it's fucking hilarious, and it's right? pretty active. Yeah, Let's make that happen. Hey, it, you know, I'll say this: it's yeah. pretty active, but yeah. everybody's communicating uh, like almost every fucking day. But Snoop Dogg is yeah. hilarious. <laughs> Snoop is crazy. Everybody's crazy. Salute to all the all the champions all the and champions. the group chat. All the brothers, <laughs> smoke right. champions in the group chat. Oh man, it's real. Hey, no, but one 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 day we were having a. We were we were having one of our back and forths and there was this motherfucker on the motorcycle. I was trying to capture him. I see him, he was riding. All this motherfucker was standing on his seat and your like music in was, traffic. Your music was like the back perfect background music to what he was doing, <laughs> what really made it insane. I got lucky, man. Oh man, this shit was I I thought I thought my, he was riding to that shit at first. I thought he was gonna fucking like get splashed out because I mean he was sitting sideways on his motorcycle for a good time crazy shit. like he was on luxurious status that shit looked heavy too yeah it looked like a heavy bike yeah it didn't, look, it didn't look like a light bike and then he was standing tall on it and i was like oh you're fucking tripping he's definitely gonna cause an accident for sure but fortunately he lived and uh yeah <laughs> So yeah, boy, that's right. You are gonna get high like yeah, that, up, man. Oh, I ain't gonna get high. Yeah, yes. I don't want to get high. Go. Word up. What you been watching lately? Um, I just finished Yellowstone. Like, Yellowstone. Yes, Yellowstone. Yeah, Yellowstone. I mean, 1883. I finished Yellowstone already. I had to go watch 1883. I gotta start 1883. I finished 1883. Um, I'm waiting for the second half of Ozark to come back. Yeah. Oh, they just did. Yeah, no, it's, it's back. back. Oh, it's back. Yeah, the yeah. last one. They just did it. Yeah, they're it's doing. Out. They're doing it in a. You mean the last? Um, yeah, not the, last the first season. seven. No, I mean not the. It's the next seven. Part is gonna two. Be, yeah, it's gonna be. Oh, in that's May. right. Yeah, I seen the first. I seen the first. 
that's seven. Right, yeah. that's right. He almost drove me they, crazy. Yeah, almost yeah, lost they my split mind. it in half. Right? Right. Hey, and they didn't fuck yeah. around. And hey, that shit is awesome. Oh, Hell yeah. There's a lot of good shows out there. Fuck, I, yeah. I fuck with Billy and stuff, too. Yeah. Did you I, watch uh, I haven't Succession? Seen that one, Succession. I fuck with that shit. That was a cold show. Hell yeah. I like the Yellowstone shit, though. Man. Yellowstone is because, a hard body. Because yeah. the, the the characters in there are yeah. pretty fucking cool. Rip. But, yeah, Rip, Rip is definitely yeah, Rip dope. Is a G. Rip and That's Beth. That's a loyal motherfucker right there. Beth is hard. Beth is a thug. Beth, Beth is, is a she's fucking a G, thug man. in Beth a skirt. Is, with a brain. Yeah, she's Thug a, with a brain. That's dangerous. I think she's one of the fucking ru- most ruthless For fucking sure. characters on TV. Like in in terms of <laughs> I don't give a fuck. She straight told homie, "Go kill yourself." <laughs> oh yeah, she straight up. Yeah, she kill straight yourself. up. Yeah, she told her dad. Snowfall just yeah. came back on. Oh, yeah, snow, good one. Snowfall's good. Snowfall's you ever see Top on. Boy? Like so far, so far this Where's, season. Um, that's from London. Top right? Boy, yeah, that was yeah, London. That shit ain't that bad, man. There's this two parts that. That's a pretty snowfall. Yeah, pretty good. Snowfall this season so far, it's been really good. Like mm. they stepped it up. That's a good one, man. Um, have you seen Gangs of London? Love it. Yeah, that one's when, crazy. When, that's not coming back? I think it's coming back. I'm not sure, but that shit. That shit was from, hard. From first episode to last was really episode hard. was just. I'm not gonna lie, that was really hard. All gangster shit. I watch a lot of I watch a lot of TV and not the front. I like good film. I think yeah, all man. MCs like good film, really. Yeah, I didn't. You, 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 you know, get I didn't to pull a lot of shit out of it. For there was a time where I didn't watch so much TV at all, fuck, but yeah, like. Yeah. Then I came back to it because there was a lot of dope shows out yeah. there. Oh, yeah, it was probably a dry run on good TV for a yeah. while. I mean, it's like anything. Like with radio, sometimes there's just a bunch yeah. of garbage there, so you tune out. And now you've got fucking satellites, so you can, yeah, there's everything. other options. But, you know, then there's times where it has a run where it's actually playing good fucking music. And you're like, oh, shit, I fucks with this. And TV's the same way because it's entertainment. Sometimes they have really great shows on every network and sometimes it's maybe one or two shows and everything else sucks depending on the season yeah there's a lot of dope shit now though i feel like it's more good tv series than movies oh yeah definitely like movies fucking suck now the series the series it seems like series are making a lot of dope shit oh yeah there's a lot of good shit out there right now vikings valhalla I haven't seen it. I want to watch that. You saw the first one? No, I want to watch it. Okay, watch the first one, then get to this new one. Okay. Because it's yeah, 100. I always watch that. I can't watch. I, I, I can't start. I got to always start from the beginning. If yeah, I watch it's it. 100 years later, the new one. But they reference all the ones in the original. Okay. It's pretty good pretty cool. so far. They just put it out just recently. But man, yeah. Yeah, Righteous Gemstones. Yeah, if you like, I just shit. start this season. If you yeah, like love that, shit, yes. oh, I, 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 I love um, um there you go. Kenny McBride. Yeah, he's one of the funniest he's motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. he's bounding down by yeah. his principles. Fact. I just missed this season, but I'm definitely catching up. <laughs> no, this season's even better. Oh man, bro. this season is hilarious. Oh, fuck, man. he's a funny. Oh, you gonna die sister. this one? The sister is hilarious. Yeah, the whole cast is really good. Yeah, good, man. That's a fucking classic. Eric Andre with Tiger. What do you mean, baby? Hey, Billy, man. Hey, Eric Andre. Is fucking good in this shit. Up, like man. he's hilarious. Um, they all are. It's he I mean, brought Macaulay Culkin into that shit. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I got to definitely watch it. Yeah. Macaulay yeah. Yeah. Culkin. Yep. You kidding me? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, really nah, he's in there. Yeah. <laughs> they did that. Yeah. They yeah, yeah, real yeah, talk. He's yeah. in there. Yeah, hey, watch, dope how they did it. Hey, did you watch? You watch the Cobra Kai shit? Yes, I gotta finish. I gotta finish this season. I'm like halfway through. I didn't watch the whole thing yet. Yeah, Cobra Kai's Yeah, I'm Cobra Kai till I die. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta do it. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> what you in town for the, right now? Uh, I'm you chilling know. a little business, a little pleasure. Training. Enjoying the flavors. Yeah. Training. Training. Because yes. it, it tra- you know, it takes training to, to yeah. do it. It's definitely to do this nah, on a group like I'm gonna tell you his thumb I'm gonna tell y'all something yeah, yeah. on a group chat I think I think what him and um Wiz is doing with the bombs is insane oh yeah we oh, guys yeah. are maniacs bitches too <laughs> yeah see like that's <laughs> a maniacs see we do that over here right yes. like so on that big one right on the big one <laughs> not the mini what was that eight feet five feet well, yeah, that that's an eight footer. I'll yeah. show it to you when we're done. But like, 
So I'm talking about the regular sized stunning glass, which you you have. Mm-hmm. I think you have one. Yeah, I don't mm-hmm. think you got the mini. You got the real yep. one, right? Yeah, I got the real one. Yeah. So like. The way we flip it over here with those is 30, 40, 30, 40, 50, 50s, yeah. yeah. Like, Bobo hit like 50, Bo- 60. Please. Yeah, Bobo I hit like 40 piece. He hit like 60. Bobo hit a 60 piece yep. on that. <laughs> a 60? Yeah. yeah. With concentrates, too, with my concentrates. But he kept, and he kept it going. I didn't even have flour. That's some potent ass shit. Well, no, with the big bulbs, he did 30. Oh, did he? Okay, no, 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 right. no, 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 no. He did. What the fuck did he do? Oh, he did the 60 on the small bulbs, the pineapple ones? Yeah, I got you. He did the sixty on sixty, motherfucker. Oh yeah, well, you know, <laughs> it's, it's like, easier yeah. to do the smaller bulbs. He's but a like, champion. Long. He could do he could do thirty of the big ones. Yeah, and that's a lot. Yep, that's what I did. I, I did on the big one. Doing ten yep. of those goddamn big ones, man. Those are tough. And those Excalibur dabs ain't no fucking joke either. Really. Yeah, the Excalibur they ain't put on. <laughs> We're talking about, you know, smoker shit. Yeah, you know, smoke Olympic smoke style shit. shit right here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a great thing. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be fun. And, uh, yeah, man, I just can't, you know, it's 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 great communicating with all y'all like that. It's amazing. In the in the group chat. It's that's amazing. Like, it's you know, amazing. And, and what's, what's dope is that you're the one who brought it out. Like, you know, um, with the challenge and all yeah. that stuff, that was awesome because it never would have happened had you not did that. And that and was fucking great. It has to be. I think people want to see that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I remember the, um, I always tell people that was, I think I've never really seen a cloud that thick in one room. Um, when we was, me and Burn was working on the vibes and we yeah. all did that song. Oh, yeah. Waves came through. Yep. All I know it was 10 pack of raw papers yep. on the table. Then they were gone. Oh, empty. Man. Yep. That was right. a lot of joints. And That's then it was right. backwards. It was all yeah, kind yeah. of stuff. But that was a heavy, heavy session where yeah. it was just thick. And it's just good to see different growers, different people, different yeah, people yeah. from back. Cause we love, we love each other's company. Yeah. I think it's one thing, like, you know, I think a lot of people definitely love, you know, love the plant, definitely love the cannabis, love the lifestyle. That's right. But I think some people have a different passion for it. Right. When it comes to the culture of it. Oh, yeah. And I think you got to really be inside to understand that part. Yeah. You know, I think that's like a secret society of a like that's an elite club for me personally, like is a very elite club to be able to go right. anywhere in the world that's and find right. the yeah. top shelf shit that's because right. you know who to call and that's they right. know who to call that's right. and they know that you ain't there just for yeah. the look of it that's right. and they're gonna actually try to find you some the shit that ain't shit. out yet that's right. the best that's shit <laughs> that's it <Yep. laughs> you because know really the, the power of the plan is for hippie shit yeah right. share yeah share it's share man. We <laughs> put people onto the fire. That's right. Whenever we all, anybody, one of us have some fire shit, we always share it with each other right away. Because what do you want to do? You want your boy to know what you got. Like, yo, taste this. You got to taste this. And to feel what you feel. Yeah, like, yeah fuck yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, how good this shit is, Absolutely. man. Smoke that shit. Yeah, Spread for the real. love. Spread the love. Because that's Whatever where the... Whatever this fucking fact. is right here. Right? Oh, yeah, my God. God. <laughs> it's one of them flavors I mentioned in there. Oh, my you guys got to, I mean, obviously you guys are going to tour at some point and you're constantly in the studio, man. What what else y'all got fucking pieced up together, ready to pop off? More juice bars. More juice bars. Dope. Pharmacy for Life store opening. That's hey, dope. Besides the e-commerce store. Um, diving into the NFT space, learning that. Yeah, that's, that's a crazy CDs space. And- um, just staying busy, staying active, trying to do everything. Yeah, that metaverse. Working on doing everything. The yeah. metaverse shit is gonna be fucking <laughs> awesome. crazy shit. Yeah, it's crazy. Some of, some of the the technology they're using is absolutely is world. crazy. Like, you know, I can't wait to see what happens there because you could really build an experience there for for fans if you really get into it. I think you could. And you do that shit right, you could build a great experience a, at that. An amazing world. experience. Yeah. Like people could be in the smoke box. Yeah, right. Virtually. Virtually. Yeah. Like be sitting fucking yeah. cherry in the smoke box. I think I think as long as people stay in tune what's real what's really happening and don't get lost. Yeah. And find the balance. But it's gonna be here, so don't let's not let let's not whether we want it or not, 
it's gonna happen so let's not miss out on yeah. the benefits yeah for real right? man fact and I love that you're opening those juice bars, especially if you're doing them in like hood neighborhoods, because I grew That's up in a hood neighborhood and it's like health was not taught. You know, everybody ate bad fucking food, no matter what. Everybody, yeah. everybody ate chips and, and fucking and quarter waters and shit like that, that you, you ate garbage, cookies, fucking just mm -hmm. trash. And nobody was there to teach you, you know, and like in other other neighborhoods and upper class or even more middle class. Like that shit's taught. They're taught how to eat. They're taught about nutrition. They're taught about what to eat. And that's why people are so fucking unhealthy is because it's not why. taught. And I'm glad that you're <clears throat> implementing that shit and getting it out there, especially from someone like you. Because you're you're that somebody somebody in the hood will say, yo, if this dude will do that, then you know what it ain't like you said, it wasn't cool to be yeah. healthy. It should be cool to be, it should be healthy. Cool. It and should. I hope you keep pushing that, man. People need yeah, it. Done. They do. So I'm going, I will. Yeah, there you yeah. go, man. You know, we yeah, need it. Go. In the pantheon of bars you spit, what do you think are some of your most iconic bars? Or your most iconic bar? I haven't said it. You haven't said it yet. There you That's go. Answer. Yes. Oh, man. Great answer. I like to hear that. Because, I mean, you're like, you know, you're one of the motherfuckers where it's like you, the favorite rapper's rapper. Mm -hmm like that you yeah. know and the bars you guys spit individually and as a group are phenomenal thank you big brother that means a lot coming from me i mean you guys are it's assassins and everybody Strange. knows it and then y'all proved it y'all you. did the show and proved deal you know <laughs> yeah, what i'm saying that old that old hip-hop yeah oh, and i love that about you guys and uh it was great to see that and uh, it was great to have you in this here smoke box mm -hmm. baptize you into the world. Love, yes, brother. Sir. What a training session. Yes, sir. My man. For what real. a training session. That's Closer right. to the heart. That's right. Right. Instant, That's man. Right. Word up. Then we go get with them smoke, smokers Olympics. It's going to be crazy. Well, yeah. Word up, man. Really? It got to be AC in a hot box at the Olympics. Oh, yeah, that has to be. Yeah, because <laughs> this, 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 this is going to be crazy. Nah, that's yeah, part of not in the Olympics. You got to nah, train. I got to train. I got to train. Yeah, this. Train this is like sweat. weird in the fucking <laughs> summer. <laughs> I'm just a cold hot box. Too, bro. You know yeah, hell yeah. This is crazy in California. Yeah. But that's if we're going to fucking compete. We gotta, <laughs> we train. It's like altitude training. Yeah. You know it would be way too hot. for the heat. I could deal like with hot that. yoga. I could deal with the cold. That's nothing. <laughs> oh, this shit right here, you know. This shit bleeding up in this bitch. Right it is, it is what it is. <laughs> hey, you got any shout outs, Ghost? Shout out to everybody who smoked cannabis. I love yeah. you. Now, nah, shout out to you. Shout out to um, our eight other brothers on the group text, That's right? Shout out to all our respective brands, family, family members. And um, shout out to the Hotbox. Thanks for having me. This shit is insane. Word. Hey, man. Um, we want to thank all y'all for watching and getting down with us. Make sure you, you know, comment, like, subscribe, you know, get down with us. You know, because we get down with y'all. And make sure you check out the Dr. Crane Thumb podcast Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the start. That's 5 Eastern. And uh, check for all the other content drops we got popping off. Salute to Funky Phil Tips. Salute to Dr. Green Thumb's dispensary for the flower. And uh, on the behalf of Cali Blaze, C Minus, oh, and myself, Dr. Green Thumb, we say thank you. Smoke another. We out. Strong.